three English grammar and four English intensive course, you also have tutorial with them. And then, oh yeah, that is for the first semester. Yeah, I think that's, that's all I can tell you now. Uh, while we have made, in fact, uh, a video, uh, what is it? A video, pro video profile for the SAC and you can see them now. Please enjoy the video. Yes, Paadi? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Self-Access Center is one of the laboratories at the English department where you do the independent studies and tutorial activities, now focusing on the English grammar. At present, the head of the SAC is me, myself, Pusanti, and in this semester, we have three counselors, Ms. Ermil, Ms. Debbie, and Ms. Ripka. Hello everyone, this is the discussion room of Self Access Center. You can come here at any time you have spare time and you can study by yourself here. Here we provide many independent study materials. For example, this is the materials about adjective clause. You can do it by yourself, then you can check the answers by yourself. After you do that one, if you get difficulties, you can meet any counselors here and discuss about your difficulties. And if you have spare time, you can also come here to have discussion with your friends. You want to do your assignments here? We, we are very welcome for that one. Or you can also play the board games that we provide with your friends here. It is so sad that due to this pandemic, you cannot be here and have these facilities. So hopefully this pandemic is over soon and see you all here. In this audiovisual room, you can do digital exercises and digital games. You can do digital exercises like this to practice your English grammar. You can do digital games like this to practice your English grammar while having fun. Guys, this is the tutorial room. Here, you will have your tutorial activities in small groups. The students who are taking the English intensive course and the structure classes are required to join the activities. You can also join cultural event celebrations at the SAC, where you practice using English in the real situation. We also celebrate cultural events and all the activities are done in English. Joining cultural event celebrations can both enrich your cultural knowledge and increase your English fluency. Moreover, you will also get student points. 
here are some of our past cultural event celebrations. The Independence Day Celebration In the previous Independence Day Celebration, students work in groups. They prepared one Indonesian traditional game and invited other students to play with them. The group that could invite the most players became the winner. We also celebrate Easter. In the previous Easter celebration, students working in group made creative Easter poster. They presented the poster in front of the board of juries and of course, the winners got some interesting presents. We also have Lunar New Year celebration. As you could see in the photos, students joined the trivial lock. Anytime a student could present a good answer, she got a present. Well, students, you have seen a brief overview of the SAC. We do hope that this corona outbreak can be overcome soon and we can work with you at the SAC. Okay guys, we wish you good luck and always stay healthy. Okay, a very nice video presentation. Okay, so um, to Sandy, yeah. you introduce some of the assistants who are already here. Sorry? Would you please introduce some of the assistants that are here already? I mean, the assistants, the counselors, you mean? Yes. Yeah, so I have done that. So they are, first, Miss Ermil. Okay, so Miss Ermil. Hello, nice to meet you all. Okay, and then? Yeah. This is Miss Ermil. Miss Ermil is, uh, I think, she has been working with us for quite a long time. How many years, Miss Ermil? And Miss Ermil is also teaching somewhere in uh, at the uh, what is it, nursing department? Yes, in a nursing so, academy. Yeah. Okay, nursing academy. Uh, Miss Ermil is really what is it, experienced with all the SAC staffs, okay? But yeah, that is unfortunately, uh, we, can, we can only do online classes, okay? And then the second one is Ms. I have, I use Ms. 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 M. Z. M. S. We pronounce it as Ms. It means that we don't know whether they are married or not. <laughs> is that right? But, <laughs> Yes, we don't care about that. So not Miss Nona, but Miss. <laughs> so you are not allowed to ask questions about that. The second one is Miss Debbie. Hi, everyone. Hi, so this is Miss Debbie. Beautiful, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Miss Debbie is, is a creative uh, tutor, okay? And... Uh, she helps us, she is helping us with all the uh, games and whatever. Okay. Yeah, Miss Debbie? Yeah. Do something? Uh, hi, everyone. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hopefully, mm -hmm. this pandemic is over soon so we can see one another in the real life. <laughs> mm -hmm. And enjoy the cultural events. Yeah, of think? course. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Miss Debbie. And the thank next you. one is Miss Rip. Ha, the youngest here. Yeah, hi everyone, nice to yeah. meet you. Okay, so this is Miss Ripka. And uh, everyone, you know that all of them are our alumni. So, uh, Miss Ripka has, oh, you graduated last year? Last year, ma'am, last year. But you have joined 
the uh, the visuda. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you are lucky that you uh, <laughs> could still join the visuda. Yeah. Because uh, the newer, what is it, graduates? Okay. Uh, they haven't got their visuda yet. Okay. Yeah. So this is Miss Ripka. So I think that's all, Pat Padi. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So make sure that you. Uh, visit as easy, you know, very often later, yeah, in person. Later. Later. <laughs> and then... Uh, oh, yeah, one more, Pak Adi. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the students have to really be active in every SEC activities, tutorial, online tutorial activities. You have to join the English, uh, what is it? English intensive course tutorial activities and uh, online tutorial activities for the introductory English grammar. Okay, yeah, I think that's all. Mm -hmm. yeah, to announce uh, the details. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bu Santi, Bu Ermil. You know. Welcome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you for coming. All right, now um, I would like to invite uh, Bu. Umina, yeah. I would like to invite Umina to present uh, about the lab. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Pak for inviting us here. So I am the representative for ETR2 Lab. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, very clearly. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not alone today. So I'm here with my friend. Where is my friend? Hi. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. My name is Fena. Yeah. So we both are going to share about ETR2 laboratory. Okay, so welcome to EDR2 Laboratory. First, we will introduce you to our lab's personnel, starting with the head of our lab. Uh, Pat William, who is this? Uh, I'm not sure. Is this Pumina, our boss? Uh, are you sure? Maybe this is her childhood picture? Maybe. Um, this is her, I don't know, her childhood photos, her daughter's photos, maybe? Uh, uh, did you put the wrong picture about William? I, well, I'm sorry. We need to call Pumina then. Uh, Pumina? Yeah. Pumina, where are you? Where are you? Hi, everyone. Oh. Nice to see you. Okay. <laughs> I'm Mina. Pak William and Bu Afena, thank you for uh, introducing me. Uh, hopefully, we can work together to assist the students with their independent study at the lab, yeah? Okay, go on, Pak William and Bu Afena. Yeah, Bumina, thank you. So, you have met Bumina, right? She is the head of our lab. Yes, that's correct. So that's the head of our lab, Titi Minatama. We usually call her Bumina. And there are two assistants, the first one is William Ignatius. We usually call him Pak William. Hi, I'm here. Yeah, that's him. And the other one is Benedicta Avena. That's me. And people usually call me Bu Avena. So our lab is called ETR2 Lab. It stands for English Department Reading and Writing Laboratory. Maybe you're wondering why is it ETR2? not ETLW. So I need your participation here. So do not mute your audio. So why is it called ETR2, not ETRW? R2 and RW. Anyone can guess? Because the writing, you read it like writing. Yeah, so we pronounce it once again. Who is that? Angun, yeah. Yeah. So the first R, the first R, there are two R's there. The first R, can you name it? 
It comes from? Rating. Yes, good. Rating. And the second R? From writing. Good. So we pronounce it writing. We do not pronounce it with W. W sound. W. No. Not writing, but writing. ETR2, English department, reading and writing laboratory. Very good, Anggun. Thank you so much. So our lab is one of the, yeah. So our lab is one of the department facilities to improve your reading and writing skills. How? So there will be English intensive course. And these are the guidelines for your independent study study for English intensive course at our lab. Ms. Vena, could you please tell us more about the guidelines? Yes. Okay, so first, you are required to read and do the exercises from reading A to C, and the answer sheet is provided at Bella. The file name is answer underscore sheet underscore template. And we also heard from Pa Andreas that uh, your English skill is quite good. So. We have decided that for this semester, you will start with level O. And for this one semester, you have to read at least 12 texts, six texts before the UDS and another six texts after the UDS. And the first six texts to read before the UDS are from level O until level D. And another six texts to read after the UDS are from level U until level Z. Each week, you must read one text from one level and do the exercises. The one text along with the attached exercises is worth one count. And at least two weeks after you submit your work, we, the assistants, will check your work and then it will be uploaded at Bella. Oh yeah, sorry, uh, I missed something here. Uh, so. Point six, yeah, one text is worth one count. So even though there are two or three exercises, it will be still be counted as one. Not two or three, but one, okay? And you can also ask for more assistance for, for more explanations on the feedback given. Okay, next. How to submit your work? Well, of course, you have to submit your work at Bella during your independent study days, when your independent study days are from Monday to Thursday. So you will have four days to do your work. Oh, what if you submit your assignment on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? Well, we are very sorry, but it will not be accepted because the submission box at Bella will be automatically closed. So remember to submit your assignment on during your independent study days, okay? And before you submit your work, please do yourself recording attendance in the attendance box at Bella. And though the compulsory exercise is one text per week, you can do more than one text. But remember, you have to do it on the same level. And last but not least, for the students whose work is considered bad or terrible, we might have an extra individual or group conference based on appointments. So we have divided you into two groups. For group one, you will have your feedback group conference every Friday at 11. And for group two, you will have your feedback group conference every Wednesday at one. Oh, we have 10 students here. Yeah. We have yeah, 10 students, 10. yeah. 10 mm -hmm. students in group one, the, uh, Tasnima, the first one, and then Maria Ines, and then Cecilia, Steven, Julius, Fabiana, Fiona, Agatha, Alessandro, and Stephanie. And in group two, we have 10 students as well, Erpina, Angun, Lepi, Petrus, Agnes, Husafiandi, Sandra, Putra, Daisy, and Maria Elena. Okay, uh, excuse me. Yeah. Ervina. We have Ervina. Yeah, Ervina, sir, in group two. 
number one. Oh yeah, all right. Okay, okay. thank you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so is there anyone whose name I haven't mentioned? Okay, so actually number nine, Alessandro Teofilus Devapaxi is not here. Okay. Just ah, okay. Right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, then. Then Putra uh, probably is not here. Okay. Yes, sir? Putra. Putra is probably is not with us. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I'm trying to contact uh, Putra, but uh, I don't think it's easier. All right. Okay. okay. But I'm going to give you, you know, like uh, the, the fixed place of names. Thank you. Yeah, okay. thank you. Okay, thank you, Mark. Okay, then uh, Mark William, you can continue. Okay. So aside from doing reading and writing activities, you can do other, do other activities such as here, but this is on-site, uh, these are the on-site activities, which mean maybe when you come to the campus, please don't forget to visit our campus and visit our lab when you are going to do these things. First, browsing the internet. So all the computers there at the ETR2 lab are all connected to the internet and the browsings are free. You can use it when you are visiting our lab. Second, borrowing books. We provide some books and we can lend it to you and it is free. And last but not least, printing and scanning. We do have these services, but we are sorry, you need to pay uh, based on the prices list on, uh, on the lab there, in the, at the lab. So that's all. Thank you for your attention. Is there any question? Any questions there? So I'm sure they will have a lot of questions, but William. Yeah. <laughs> they are about to do all the exercises. But right now, you know, they still do not have the uh, imagination. Oh yeah, also yeah. with us today, we have Lumina. Lumina is the head of the uh, Hi. writing, yeah. Pak Hati, thank you for introducing me again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Bu. Yeah, the picture Pak William and Bu Avena uh, displayed, that cute, that cute baby. Yeah. <laughs> so it is not me for sure. It is my granddaughter i'm <laughs> I, i'm old already <laughs> my sweet granddaughter who is just one year old uh, last month mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so uh, is it everything from the etr yeah that's all but okay thank you so much uh william also Wafena and also Tumina, of course, yeah. yeah. Okay, anything else? If not, uh, then I'm, I'm going to invite uh, Pak Imawan. Okay, see you everyone. See you. See you. See you. Thank you. Uh, Pak Imawan. Pak Imawan? Yeah, Pak. Okay, so Pak Imawan is a lecturer, of course, of the English Language Education Study Program. Okay, also, Pak Himan is the secretary of PPK program. So PPK is another study program, yeah? And Pak Himan is the secretary, yeah? So Pak Himan is always very busy. Okay, um, Pak Himan's office is on the second floor, and also in the same premise, in the same room, we have band. Now we can play band. So we have a drum, a set of drum, okay? Complete enough and, and, and adequate enough to play hard rock, yeah? Okay. It is not just, you know, like the drum set we have. Uh, it's not like the drum set that you, probably, that you probably see in a restaurant, yeah? Because we have better, yeah? And then we also have two guitars and one bass, and we also have a keyboard and kachon. Yeah, if you are good, you know, at music or, or if you want to accept, if you, if you want to practice, if you want to play, you know, you also have, uh, you know, like the equipment, yeah? And it is only, yeah, not every faculty has that one, but uh, only at Pai and the university. So please later, when we can meet again, you know, 
uh, not uh, via Zoom like this, but we meet in person. And later, you know, um, you can visit Pak Iman's office and play there, yeah? And make it quite noisy over there, yeah? But Pak Iman is okay, yeah? Um, he's used to it already, yeah? Okay, Pak Iman, uh, you are going to explain a little bit about your lab. Yeah, time is yours, Pak Iman. Thank you, Pak Adi Sutris. Hello, everyone. How are you? So it is a so, challenge for Imawan to teach uh, via Zoom because good morning, we don't get the reply as usual. Mm -hmm. and, it, and, and it is like a very long monologue. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So as the head of the language laboratory, I'm always in front. But you just remember our pizza. You know pizza? Everybody knows it, I believe, yeah. Just like a pizza. The one in front is not the most important. It is also like our laboratory. I'm always in front, but I'm not the machine of the laboratory. The machine of the laboratory is our, let's say, assistants. We have Miss Febrin, sorry, Miss Jessica Febrina here as the Miss Jessica Febrina. Where are you? Hello, everyone. I'm here. Uh, and we also have Miss Clementine Cortisarum. Ms. Hi, Clementine. everyone. Uh, without them, without Miss Jessica and Miss Febrina, probably our DLL, yeah, cannot serve you all well, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm the head of the DLL, but actually we have two laboratories, DLL, which is Digital Language Laboratory, and MLL, Multimedia language laboratory and also just as Paadi stated we have the music room in my office so yeah a set of musical instruments you can come and play with us now to show that I'm not the machine Miss Jessica or Miss Osa will explain to you all about our laboratory Tika and Ms. Osa, please do so. Okay, thank you, Pak Himawan. Hello, everyone. I am Jessica Febrina, and I'm so sorry uh, because I have to wear my mask because I'm in campus now. So if my voice is not clear, please inform me. Yeah, Ms. Osa? Yeah, hello, Ms. Febri uh, Ms. Jessica. Hi, everyone. It's me, Clementine, and you can call me Osa. And okay, Miss Jessica, are you ready to introduce our laboratory? Yes. Okay, so this is our laboratory. Next, uh, please, Miss. Okay, now, yeah, we want uh, you to know about us, not only about the laboratory, but also about the system and the activities that we can do in this laboratory. And actually, we have two laboratories, and the first is the LL, our digital language laboratory. And this is is, uh, is on the first floor. And then we also have another one. Miss Jessica, please, can you next uh, move to the second picture? Okay, good. This is the second laboratory. Uh, this is multimedia laboratory and you can call it LMM solely in, in, in our campus. And also in this uh, two laboratories, you can do many kinds of activities such as doing your independent studies and then doing your group activities with your friends. And also we sometimes have classes here, like some courses such as listening courses we can do also in this laboratory. And uh, for the further information, Ms. Jessica will explain to you about the activities that you can do in these two laboratories. 
Okay. And yes, yeah. So this is our teams. We yeah we call it teams. So we have the head of the library, Pak Himawan, and then also as the uh, assistants. Actually, we have two assistants. The first is Pak Christian, and then the second is Miss Jessica. Miss Jessica, could you introduce yourself to the uh, to our friends? Hi everyone. Again, I am Jessica Fabrina. I'll be explaining something later. Yeah. Yeah. And then the last one is me, Clementine. And you can, yeah, as I said before, that you can call me Osa. And we will help you with your uh, activities, with your listening activities, with your independent studies, because we are the assistant. So if you have any difficulties, feel free to ask for our help. Next, Miss Jessica. Okay. okay, yeah, this is the activities, Miss Jessica. Yeah, so yeah. I'll be explaining some of the activities that we usually do in our uh, DLN and also LMM. As mentioned by Miss Osa before that, oh yeah, before that, sorry, you can call me Miss Jessica, you can call me Miss JJ to make it so short and practical, okay? So as mentioned before that Miss Osa told you about some listening classes that are uh, Hold in our laboratory, but then uh, that were that were when we have the offline classes. So usually some lecturers will use our laboratory for their listening classes since we have some uh, computers and headsets on. And then uh, beside that, we also have some independent study and also workshop and competitions that will be held during the semester and uh, one year like that. So here is the independent learning. When we do it offline, the students will have some workbooks, so physical books that they have to do. So the students will come to our DLL, they will do some exercises related to listening and speaking skills. But then, because we have uh, everything online now, so we will also be using Bella. So later on, uh, you can uh, you will be able to access it in bella.ukms.ac.id. And the course or the name of the course will be Digital Language Laboratory or DLL. Similar to what you will have to do in SAC and also in EDR, you also will have to do some units of exercises. But then again, the focus is in listening skill. All right. So you will have 10 units that you have to do later, five units before the midterm test and five units after the midterm test. All right. I'll show you this. So if you open your Bella later, you will find uh, this layout. And each week we will have three folders like this. But then because in your first semester, you will be taking basic listening and English integrated course. So you will open these two folders, all right? Inside the folder, there will be some files, whether it's MP3 or MP4, you will access it later and you will see some exercises attached there. All right, so we will have uh, some explanation here again later on. So to make it, uh, to make it more detailed, but then this is only the, um, the glance of the exercise, All right? I'll go back here. Yeah, so all students have to do one unit of listening exercises weekly. So you will have one unit for one week and we will be online. So both uh, Ms. Oza and I will be online during uh, the work days starting from Monday to Friday. And we will be online at around 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., all right? So you will be uh, able to contact us during that hours. And there is no acceptance for this honesty. I'm sure that you have already been in uh, your new years or new level of study. So I'm sure you'll get mature. No, um, no, exception, no exception for any dishonesty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here is our schedule. Again, as I said, we'll be online during Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And here are our contact uh, our numbers. So if you have any questions related to our listening exercises, you can also contact us here. Don't hesitate because we are not that uh, strict. <laughs> okay. So you can just come and you can just uh, ask us about these exercises. Yeah, I think that's all from me. Ms. Osa, do you want to add something? I think everything is clear. How about the others? Do you have any questions? Yeah. 
it's still a plan so i'm sure you are still uh, absorbing everything but then yeah. later on you can come to us and ask yeah uh pak himawan perhaps you want to add something oh yeah about the activities could you please retrieve to the previous one uh, another one nah So, rules and regulations. There are 10 units. Yeah? Five units before the midterm and five units after the midterm. And then, let me emphasize number two. All students have to do one unit of listening exercise, uh, one unit of listening exercises weekly. So, we are against mathematics here. In mathematics, three times one, Three times one equals one times three, right? But here, yeah, we suggest or we require that you do once a week. Yeah? Uh, you are not supposed to do one week uh, to do five exercise, sorry, five units in the first week or 10 units in the last week, no, but you are expected to do one week, one exercise, one week, one exercise, another week, another exercise. So just like when you are taking medicines, yeah, you have to take three times daily, for example, you cannot take three pills in the morning, but you have to take one pill in the morning, the second pill, one of the second pill in the afternoon, and then another one in the evening. So please do it weekly, one unit a week. Yeah, theoretically, probably it is good that you finish five units in the first or in the second week, but that is not what we expect you to do because studying five times, uh, sorry, five times with an hour each is different from studying once for five hours. Yeah? Repetition is the key here. Nah, probably that is the, uh, the one that I need to add, Miss Jessica and Miss Osa. Yes. Thank you. Perhaps you want to uh, screenshot this, anyone? Yeah, especially for the contact person and also the schedules. If you have already uh, taken the screenshot, then I'll give it back to Pak Hadi. Yeah, Pak Hadi, these are our session our presentation thank you okay um thank you by one please stop share okay so thank you so much by one so now you have like uh, more ideas about our laboratories right now if you have questions you know um miss debbie is here miss armelia is here also um yeah you can ask questions, okay? Or are you clear with all the explanation? Yeah, probably you still don't have question because you are still new, right? You are still new, so uh, you do not know what to do or you have not tried anything. So you do not encounter any difficulties, but later, you know, um, I'm going to share also your phone number with all the heads of the labs, you know? And also the assistants, the consulates, yeah, so that you can also contact them when you have um, problems, encounter problems. And also during this uh, online, everything online uh, period, I think you have to intensify our communication. Yeah, we really have to intensify our communication because, you know, like if you just chat, 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 and we assume people understand, people care what we want, and most of the time it is not the case. Yeah, because you know, like 
There are too many messages, you know, and messages uh, got buried down deep, you know, in the bottom of the WhatsApp. Yeah. Okay. So um, if I contact you or you want to contact me, so it is best for you to use WhatsApp. Yeah. I, I'm I, I'm learning to use a line, you know, but somehow it's quite difficult for me. Yeah. To understand all the features and also there are too many stickers. Sometimes you know one sticker occupies like two thirds of the page, yeah, and it's so troublesome. Yeah. Okay. Um, now we also have uh, phone numbers over there. Thank you so much. So please, yeah, please uh, keep the numbers. Yeah, I'm going to send you also. Yeah, so that uh, you know how to contact the assistants and also by Himan's number is there. But you see, um, when you contact us, try to chat first. Yeah, if you do not get a reply from us, yeah, then please call us. Yeah, don't don't worry. It's okay for you to call us. Yeah, but then do not just call us for anything you don't understand. Try to try to understand first. If you still don't understand, or you still don't understand after you have tried to find information elsewhere, then you may. You may, you are welcome to let us know. You are welcome to call us. And if, for example, yeah, you send, you send us a message and, and, and we have not replied for one day, that is too long. Yeah, my response is usually pretty fast. Yeah, if you send a message, you don't get a reply and one day has passed, please chat again because every day we have too many messages. Yeah and probably more than we can handle, yeah? And some are very important and some are just people sharing pictures, yeah? Good morning, good morning, like that, yeah? Please avoid yeah, sending me good morning with flowers, you know, with pictures of flowers or, or pretty animals. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Um, now, uh, it is uh, 11.28 and uh, if, Everything is, is finished, then I, I can just go on to the next session. Yeah. The next session is about total immersion days for the ICT and the AUN. And Rimelda is going to be with you for the next for the next 30 minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah, so you have all the numbers there. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Um Pai Mawan, thank you so much to Mina Pusanti. Yeah. So please also leave your number over here so that people know to contact you. Yeah. Okay. Um, we Melda, are you ready? We Melda. Okay. Pimelda. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Mm. Hello. <laughs> Hi. My name is uh, We Melda. You can call me We Melda, Miss Imelda. A for me, maybe not Mem Imelda, yeah. I don't know. I just personally always think that Mem should not go with name. Anyway, doesn't matter. So, uh, well, uh, welcome to all of you to this uh, English department. And yeah, so now I have to present about this, uh, uh, the various activities. Uh, or Frankly, I'm not the best person to do it because uh, I'm kind of new in Video Mandela. Well, I, uh, I just, this is my one and a half year of joining the faculty. Yeah. So uh, unfortunately, if you have any questions about the, uh, the things that I will present, I may not be able to answer it. But uh, anyway, I have Pahadi who will help me to answer your questions. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so well, uh, when you join, uh, uh, the English Department of Media Mandela, uh, you will be spoiled for choice yeah? uh, in activities, that, uh, I mean, um, extra curricular activities that you choose from. Yeah, yeah so, uh, well, to sum everything up, <clears throat> I have a video, or rather, the committee has prepared a video. Yeah, hey, Pahadi, are you playing it or I play it from on my it. side? I can do it, no problem. Yeah. I prepared. Hello. So um, this is the video about uh, okay. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah. TIT. So this uh, TIT was 
the, the, the city was shut in 2017, right? Oh, 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 
place. So nice, so beautiful. I love it. Okay, so uh, it's the IT, yeah? So Pumelta will explain more about all the activities because you don't only study, study, study in the classroom, but you're also expected, yeah, to participate in activities, yeah, like that, yeah. Please, Pumelta, you can go on with the PowerPoint presentation. Uh, summary, video summary of the day, TID, aka field trip, yeah, your field trip, which you will go, um, uh, you will have in your, I think, fifth or sixth semester, if I'm not wrong. Well, of course, uh, last semester, because of the pandemic, the group that was supposed to go to Bali, if I'm not wrong, didn't go, yeah, so I'm not sure what will happen. I think they will have a replacement for that, I don't know, a virtual tour or a, a postponed to another semester i don't know anyway i will start sharing my screen now uh, i suppose it can be seen now right you can uh pak hadi bisa ya bisa dilihat ya okay wait i'm going to the presentation mode All right, okay. So, again, once more, welcome. This is the front gate, front door of our a our building, Kalijuda building, in case you haven't been there. A, so, like uh, I mentioned just now, in, or rather, as what Pahadi has mentioned, in English department, you don't just study English and that's it, yeah? Uh, Sorry, I'm distracted because my my face looks shiny in this <laughs> with this background. Anyway, okay. So the first uh, in this first slide that you are seeing now, uh, this these are some pictures from the IC orientation and gathering. So actually, one of your courses that you are going to take in the first semester is called IC or integrated course. Yeah. So this IC is supposed to be like a, a reinforcement of the English that you have learned in high school, right? So I see is uh, an integration of uh, grammar, vocab, reading, writing, all the four skills, etc. Yeah, uh, which uh, which is supposed to consolidate what you have learned in the previous studies and to be the like the bridge of what you are going to learn in. Uh, Vidya Mandala, yeah, in the English department, yeah. So this IC has a, usually the first week of the semester, which will start next week, will be the orientation, yeah. You will not go straight into the lesson proper. You will have an orientation, yeah. So uh, if I'm not wrong, the your IC head is Pa Andreas, yeah. So he will take you through the orientation, yeah. And I mean, I'm just to, to ease you through the the the, the study so that you know you are you are not like coldly drop into the study environment, yeah. And uh, usually there is a gathering, yeah, just to, you know, to celebrate uh, us coming together, yeah, in English department, yeah. So, yeah, it's not uh, like to have a little bit of fun before really starting the lessons, yeah. So, a well, by the way, Pa Andreas uh, can play the guitar and also can play the, the, the drum, yeah. So, uh, you will see him often in events uh, where he's part of the band. So, he usually plays the drum and then, you know, Pa Anto Antoni from Physics, whom you have met yesterday, I think, uh, he also plays the bass guitar very well. And 
uh, usually Bu Retno, I don't know if you have met her, she is the singer together with Pak Nugi, uh, those usually, uh, those pair form a duet. Yeah. Anyway, and then next, uh, besides studying, blah, 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 there are also competitions, yeah, competitions. So for example, on the left, I think this is uh, one of our students who took part in a concert or violin competition, yeah, if I'm not wrong, yeah. And then also there's uh, the picture you see on, in the middle and on the right. Uh, the, uh, this, these are a debate competition uh, which your seniors took part. Yeah, uh, Although they didn't win the first prize, but yeah, I think uh, they managed to, uh, to, to make the name of Vidya Mandala English Department known yeah, to the public. So, well, it's always good yeah, for you if you can to join these activities because uh, yeah, I suppose you gain points. <laughs> but also, uh, yeah, it will help us also, yeah, to make our name uh, better known, yeah, in the uh, in the public. Well, this one is English broadcasting experience. Uh, as far as I know, well, I myself am the course instructor for this elective subject called English for broadcasting. Yeah, so uh, yeah, if you elect that, if you choose that, then you will. So learn some theory behind it and you, you might also go for a field trip relating to it, yeah. But also uh, we have a, what we call Abdimas, yeah, which is a, like our social service, yeah, community service project, so to speak, for our college, yeah, in which we regularly air uh, English um, show to the public, yeah, through the RRI, RRI, yeah, Radio RRI. Uh, yeah, so for example, Bu Retno and Bu Ying Ying, whom you met just now, they are the regular contributors yeah, to this event. Actually, it's part of our community service project. Yeah. Uh, so, but uh, it seems like from this photo, what I can conclude is that I think uh, it is also offered for students. Yeah. So I suppose if you like it, yeah, if you, if you want to join Bu Retno and Bu Ying Ying, I don't know if now they're still doing it because of the pandemic, you can always uh, tell us and contact them. Yeah, by the way, so all these English shows, these are, uh, if I'm not wrong, a, it consists of like, okay, like a conversation, yeah, English conversation. A, uh, I heard that, for example, Bu Retno spoke about, oh, uh, interesting places to go in Surabaya, for example, yeah. So it's useful to learn English and also for tourists who happen to tune in to RRE at that moment, yeah. Next, guest lectures. Yeah, so besides us, your lecturers, after some time you get bored by us for sure. Yeah, you're like, ah, oh, yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> I meet this person in semester one and then semester two, and then twice some more, then semester three. Ah, yo, yeah, after some time you get bored by us. Yeah, so it's always natural eh, that we try to bring in also guest lectures, guest, guest lectures. Yeah. You will find that some guest lectures are invited for subject specific topic. For example, I myself for my English for tourism has I have invited in the past uh, my friend who is a hotel manager. Yeah, uh, also for broadcasting, I have invited a friend, another friend who works in a, in radio. Yeah, and also there will be guest lectures uh, department wise, meaning it's organized by ETSA, by by the department or by by the student council. Yeah. So the photos that you see there are some of the past guest lectures that we've had. Yeah. Uh, well, of course the topics vary. It, it's not necessarily about English. Yeah. I mean, of course we have to broaden our perspective. Sometimes we, for example, I think some of you recognize the picture on the extreme right. That's our friend Domi, who is the husband of our lecturers, uh, one of our lecturers, Priska, Bu Priska, who is now uh, taking up her doctor study in New Zealand, yeah. Anyway, so, well, yeah, just, uh, I hope you look forward to all these events and please join it, yeah. Well, of course, I think for some of you it's compulsory, you have to join it, yeah. But even if it's not, try to attend it, yeah. So that, uh, yeah, it kind of broaden your perspective and makes you know about other things besides studying and besides English, etc. Well, and then, yeah, I heard that some of you just now mentioned, that, oh, no, no, I, I don't want to be a teacher, yeah. I'm a teacher poorly, which I agree with you, yeah. So <laughs> being a teacher is a calling, yeah. It's not, it's not uh, something that you want to make money off, yeah. Anyway, but as some of you, I heard you want to go into translation, yeah. Uh, from my students before, I heard that some of them, they want to teach Indonesian in uh, abroad, yeah. So they want to master English 
but they want to be an Indonesian teacher abroad. So there are so many career pathway that you can choose. Yeah, not not necessarily related to teaching, nor to well, it's kind of slightly related to English. Yeah. So there'll be this event called Career Pathway Discussion Forum, uh, oh, affectionately called DISPROF, if I'm not wrong, yeah, DISPROF. So I think this is compulsory for a student of certain semester. Uh, you will go, if this pandemic is over, you will go somewhere and then uh, a, some alumni, professionals will be invited to speak to you about their career, yeah. I mean to open up to open up possibilities for you, yeah, to see. Oh, yeah, actually, I can go to this kind of line, yeah, of profession, yeah. So, I, I, if I'm not wrong, during the pandemic, because we were not, of course, we were not able to gather the students to a faraway place, yeah. Uh, in the past, we have had webinars. We we had it in webinar form, yeah. We invited alumni, our alumni, successful alumni, to talk to many people because it was a broadcast as a webinar. And it was very useful, yeah? All right, okay. Well, this one, yes, you've seen the video, yeah, a, a bit rowdy to me. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I think for you guys, eh, it's, it's legitimate, yeah? You can have that kind of fun in Bali, yeah? Well, besides Bali, eh, in the past, apparently, uh, the department has also gone to, uh, gone to, I mean, gone abroad, yeah? Gone to Singapore, for example, yeah? So what do you do in the ID? I don't know, <laughs> really, I don't know. Sorry, yeah. Uh, I asked my past students, so what do you do? Uh, we went to hotels and we asked questions, we interview people, yeah. Well, of course, it's holiday and, and study at the same time. Yes, yeah? so of course, meaning you will have fun, like what you saw in the video, yeah, most of them uh, were depicted as having fun, but also you will kind of learn, yeah, you will. Yeah, interview yeah. bule bule, yeah, correct, <laughs> buddy. Bener gak? Yeah, so actually, um, we also learn, you know, like, um, like possibilities of having careers, you know, inside, uh, you know, like in, in the world of education and also outside the world of education, and that is why um, in the video you also see that we visited the school. So we didn't just visit the school; we visited the school, and we also did some teaching. For the students, right, right. Okay, so the students were divided into groups of two or three, and then this small group went to each classroom, okay, to do some teaching and some, you know, some games, you know, with the students, having fun together, and to feel how it is to be, you know, in front of the students in the classroom. And then we also went to um, in the video. You see, uh, we went to. A studio, yeah. We went also to uh, the printing company, yeah, mass media company. We also went to visit a beautiful hotel, okay. Because actually, if you think that okay, you have to graduate from hotel and tourism to work in the hotel, and that is absolutely not correct, because well, partly correct, but not entirely correct, because you know a hotel needs a uh, a, a, psychologist, a psychologist, you know, to work for the human resources, accountant to work for, you know, the financial affairs, and also even graduates of FKIP for the training division. So it's really, really wide, you know. Okay, and of course, you also have some fun visiting uh, uh, tourist uh, destinations. Yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, thank you for a complete explanation. Because I don't know when I asked my students the previous batch who went to Forty ID, they just say, I don't know. I just uh, went to hotel and uh, beach. <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. Actually, you, you. Uh, but so, by the way, I think this TID uh, takes place in a week, uh, five days, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, and of course, you will have to. I think it's subs yeah, I mean, it's, it has subsidy, I suppose, but uh, you will have to pay, yeah? So what I suggest to you is that please save up from now, yeah? So that when it comes to, uh, when it's your turn to do it, yeah? You will have enough funds already, yeah? All right, okay. So yeah, I mean, more photos, well, yeah. Apparently in the past, you also go to Singapore. So in Singapore, what do you do, Pa? Also go to school like that or? So we went to visit a college. Yeah, it's a, uh, there is a college, you know, and we visited there and we had a session of seminar. 
and uh, it was nice. And we visit also some some companies, some schools, you know. And the picture on the on the right side is in a school. So we visited a school, a, a, a private school there, and uh, we learned really a lot, you know, about how they manage the classes, how they uh, manage, you know, the students and everything, and and like we were impressed, you know, we were really really impressed. And we also went to um, some, of course, some uh, some tourist destinations, yeah. But we also have uh, the education. Yeah, yeah. We also have the fun at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Great! Wow! Nice! Right. So yeah, I don't know. So next, when it comes to your turn, I don't know. Will it be Singapore, Bali, or uh, uh, well, Bandung? <laughs> anyway, if yeah, wherever say, it may be. Uh, if you can sorry? say uh, two hundred fifty, just two hundred fifty. A month, yeah. If we save 100, 250 a month, like uh, in three years, yeah. So the, the yeah, amount right. going to be right. enough for you to go to Singapore. Singapore is, is, is pretty expensive, I should say. Yeah, probably you can go to uh, Manila, to the Philippines. I guess uh, if you spend the same amount of money, you can stay for longer time. Yeah, Singapore is very, very expensive. Yeah, even right, to, right. even yeah. for me. Even for Domi, Singapore is expensive, you know. Yeah, for us, yeah, it's more expensive, of course, you know. Yeah. <laughs> correct, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, no? many options. And yeah, let's pray that this pandemic will be over so that we can travel soon. Yeah. Okay, so this is where I kind of know a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that's why I'm roped in to do this, yeah. Well, because uh, apart from all those activities that I have mentioned, we are also striving every semester to get a, to do some exchange program, yeah. So there are two ways of doing it, yeah. Uh, one is like, okay, of course in the past, yeah, I'm not talking about the, uh, the present era, yeah. In the pre-pandemic era, a students can go abroad to, I don't know, like for, one semester, two semesters, yeah, a and to. Well, I mean, I mean, the bigger, uh, the bigger idea is that, for example, you can do two years here and two years there. But I mean, that's a lot of work, and perhaps until now, Bidya Mandala has not uh, been able to do that, yeah. But more commonly done is this one, you know, international credit transfer. So what happens is a student goes there abroad for perhaps one semester only and then do some subjects there, which will be accredited to us. Meaning to say that you have to take the equivalent credits of those subjects here, yeah, it will be acknowledged by us, yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, of course, with that, along with that comes the experience of studying abroad, yeah. So, well, I think in the past we have tried to do it, uh, well, we, we were successful for, at least for me, as far as I know, we were successful once. Uh, last year, we sent one student, her name is Angie, to Spain. Can you imagine? To Sevilla. Yeah, to Sevilla. So, Pak uh, Harto, uh, I mean, uh, the, the, you have, you've met him perhaps on Monday. Yeah, he is the vice rector one. Yeah, he managed to get a, uh, a cooperation with a uh, Universidad de Sevilla, yeah. yeah? Uh, so where, so this Angie, our students, yeah. Now she is. I don't know if she has graduated or not. Anyway, so she went there for a semester, yeah, to, to learn English, yeah, to learn English in Spain. Can you imagine? Uh, so that was one successful attempt, yeah. Well, this semester, thanks to the pandemic, <laughs> so this credit transfer has become easier, yeah. Well, maybe before that, I have to explain that when you go abroad for this credit transfer. A, well, the cost is not entirely free, right? Uh, we with the Mandala will try to subsidize something and we will also try to obtain grant, grant from the government, yeah? And that will subsidize the cost, but a part of it will still have to be shouldered by the students. So this is maybe the hard part. Yeah? I mean, to say that some of the students may not have enough means or funds to do that, yeah, to go abroad. I mean, to go abroad, to especially if it's far away, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so because of this pandemic, the good thing is that nowadays many universities offer online courses, right? 
So instead of going abroad, yeah, our students can do this credit transfer online. So it is has become much easier, much cheaper, yeah. Uh, and on top of that, uh, this year we are sorted to Bu Erlin Erawan. You have met her on Monday. Yeah, she's the head of the KUI, Kantor Urusan International or International Office Affairs. Yeah, and she together with our team uh, have managed to secure government grant to do this international credit transfer for our English department. Yeah. Meaning to say that uh, we obtain a grant of about seven million per student. Yeah, this grant can be used for internet connection, buying books, uh, uh, vitamins <laughs> for you to keep health to stay healthy. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So this year we were so fortunate. I mean, we. I mean, of course, this being so easy, we have to select the students. Meaning only those whom we think uh, perform well in their studies uh, uh, were selected. Of course, after that, there was interview by the university, etc. They were selected to represent us, or rather, to do this international credit transfer. Yeah. So, uh, uh, these are your seniors. Yeah, uh, Samantha and Luisa. You've seen Samantha just now. Yeah, in the introductory video. I mean, of course, she was wearing mask. Yeah, you may not have, you may not be able to see her face clearly. Yeah. But by the way, so anyway, Samantha and Luisa, those, these are your seniors, two batches above you. Yeah. Uh, from batch 2018, yeah. So they, uh, as of now, now as of now, they are doing an international credit transfer with the University of Asia and the Pacific, yeah, UNP in the Philippines, yeah. So we have good collaboration with with them, yeah. They offer, uh, they respond very promptly. They gave us a list of courses online, yeah, and they were very cooperative. And now we are able to enroll these two students in UNP. Yeah, they are taking subjects like drama, poetry, yeah, which we have, yeah, meaning like we have the equivalent subjects in WM, I mean in English department, so they can kind of, they can use it, yeah, as the equivalence of those two subjects, yeah. Well, so of course, uh, wh why I'm saying this is that uh, this is a, hopefully is an incentive for you to study hard, yeah, to perform well, so that in case this opportunity presents itself again in the future, uh, you can be selected, yeah, you can be selected or if you save enough funds from now on, you can also try yeah, to have this uh, international credit transfer program. You can go abroad. Yeah. Uh, well, we have cooperation with several universities, yeah, uh, with the Philippines, with Taiwan. You're like, huh, yeah. studying English in Taiwan. No? Anyway, yes, yeah. So in Taiwan, Philippines, Australia, US, yeah. Well, but yeah. Australia, US a bit far. Anyway. So uh, it's up to you, yeah. You can uh, choose to do that, yeah, to enrich your experience, yeah. Thank you, Melda. Yes. Yeah. So um, actually, to go abroad and study, yeah, there are two schemes. Scheme number one, you pay on your own. Yeah, that is quite easy. Yeah, we actually have cooperation with uh, a number of universities where you can go and you get accepted for one semester and everything. But you see, it is very, very costly because if you go, for example, to Taiwan, Taiwan is not very expensive compared to Australia, compared to uh, Singapore, you know. And then if you, for example, go to Taiwan uh, for one semester, like in a month, you need around uh, 7 million or 8 million, yeah, for the housing and for the, uh, for the housing and for the meals, you know, and also for uh, probably the tuition could be free because we have cooperation, yeah. But still, that's a lot of money. And you know, like um, how to do it? Um, you know, like with less money is by winning scheme. And international the transfer uh, that Melta has just mentioned is just one of the ways. And uh, we were lucky also because one student of ours. Uh, was funded by the European uh, Union to go to University of uh, Sevilla, Seville. And then, uh, she didn't really pay a lot, you know. Well, uh, she, she got funded for the airfare, return airfare tickets, and also for the pocket money, yeah, and also for the tuition fee, yeah. So something like that, you know, like if you are very good, okay, and you are very productive, very hardworking, 
there are always opportunities where you can you can you know go abroad you know without for example having to spend your own money yeah probably yes but a little okay so i think uh, that is like the idea of it yeah and uh, this is probably the last one and women and i are both involved yeah so if you could tell us we melt the about the un you know well for three minutes you know i think uh, we should have still time enough time to do the krs pin you can try yeah 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 so a quick one yeah uh, so this one uh, something that we need your your prayers and your cooperation and your support yeah because we are now uh, attempting to get this AUNQA certification or accreditation they say it's not accreditation but anyway it's something like that yeah but by the, and by the way you should know it's good for you that uh, we in terms of the national accreditation yeah we in Widya Mandala as a university is accredited A, A yeah, by the National Accreditation Body or affectionately called BAN PT, yeah, B -A -N -P -T. <laughs> So we are A. English department is also A, by the way. Yeah? So our department, you know, the, the accreditation is at departmental level, faculty level, and university level. Yeah? So our department is also A. Yeah? So it's very good, meaning like with this accreditation, yeah our faculty and our department can do many, many things yeah? when it comes to the government. Yeah? So anyway, so uh, those of us, our depart those departments who manage to get the A qualification is promoted, are promoted to qualify for this AUNQA. Yeah? Well, the process is similar to the national accreditation. We have to submit documents. Yeah, we have to do I don't know maybe some improvement in terms of process, in terms of building infrastructure, etc. Perhaps yeah, and then later on, uh, I don't know when this pandemic when yeah, later on there'll be uh, assessors who will visit the campus yeah, visit the university to check on what we have reported yeah. So we have to do a self evaluation. You know, for example. Uh, we are asked, okay, your infrastructure, is it adequate? Are you happy with your facility? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So we have to do this self-evaluation. We have to report it to them. And then um, two or three people from, from them, I mean, from the body, from this body, will come and assess us. Yeah. So what's the benefit of getting this accreditation? Yeah. A, well, international cooperation. Yeah. So this is an ASEAN body. So uh, what I heard is that if, let's say, we become a member, meaning if we are qualified uh, to have this certification, then we can have a lot of student exchange yeah? uh, within, uh, for universities within ASEAN countries. Yeah? So meaning all this credit transfer that I mentioned will become easier, yeah? less bureaucratic, or I don't know, perhaps with some, some uh, financial support, I don't know. Yeah? But anyway, it's good for us to, to have this. Yeah? Please pray and please uh, help us if let's say later on during the accreditation we, we may require you yeah to be present to answer questions etc yeah so please cooperate well <laughs> yeah and uh, so this uh, AUN um, yeah so now we are, we are still in process of submitting the document and by the way so many universities in for example famous state universities in East Java have been accredited. Yeah, for example, we went to UM Universitas Negeri Malang. Yeah, and they are already accredited. And also UNER, yeah, STIE Perbanas, yeah, all these campus, famous camp campuses in Surabaya, Jawa Timur, uh, have already gotten the accreditation. So we cannot, so so to speak, lose out to them. Yeah, we have to. Hopefully, yeah, with the grace of God, we can obtain this. Yeah, okay. Uh, I sorry, Pa. So there is this ETSA. Maybe I will just uh, quickly go through it. Yeah. So ETSA is a like student body. Yeah. So they organize many events like celebration week, a closing party. Yeah. Meaning uh, later you will have, but I don't know, maybe online or something like that. Uh, excellent teaching program where they uh, you will teach uh, in the surrounding perhaps uh, vicinity. Yeah, the kampung uh, around Kalijudan. I, I I heard. Yeah. A workshop on language assessment, I mean, workshop, yeah, that can help us to broaden our, our perspective, scientific forum, study bonding, <laughs> field trip, uh, elsewhere, yeah, and tutorial, yeah, so maybe, uh, if I'm not wrong, the body also helps students, I mean, juniors, yeah, to, I don't know, those who 
uh, during the final exam or the mid semester exam to to give tips and all that to study or to perform well in the exam. Yeah. Okay, Pak. That's all from me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Bu Melda. Yeah. So, so please stop your screen sharing. Yeah. Thank you so much, Bu Melda. Well, okay. uh, really, really many things you can do. You know, in, in in our department, and and how much you can do depends on once again how much you are willing to take all the pain to learn. Yeah. There are many, many opportunities. Too many, yeah, too many opportunities. And um, I hope that, you know, when when we offer you to, to participate in competition, you will just directly welcome the chances, yeah? Because once again, we get accredited A, yeah? Partly it's because of your effort. And without your effort, you know, it will be hard. Why? Because we need to work together, yeah? We need, we really need to work together. And the ranking of universities actually, is also based on the students' performances, yeah? And we have students, okay, who, who win, you know, international competition, then there is a point. Everything is based on that. Everything is based on the calculation of points from every activity that we register and we perform. It's always like that, yeah? Okay, so um, thank you so much. Uh, and I guess we have come to the end of our session today. Yeah, but uh, there is a message from Book Grace. Yeah, uh, I, I was I was reporting about the difficulty that you encounter uh, during uh, entering your uh, data in, in in the sitter. Yeah, so so please uh, anyone, St uh, Stephanie or Sandra. Who would like to try again? Anyone? Anyone? So please volunteer. Yeah, please. Okay, please okay. Sandra, try to access again uh, the website, the sitter. And then please share the screen, share screen. Yeah. I think right now, you know, IT literacy is very important. Yeah, can you see it now, mister? Yeah, something like this. Yeah, so please. Get Ambil. Yeah. Is it possible? What does it say? Still not yet. Okay, I will. Okay, so I will just. Uh, oh, oh, I will try once more. You try once again, and then I will screenshot. Yeah. Perkuliahan KRS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one, yes, sir. It's it's added already. Yeah, but you know, like the batas KHS, uh, batas batas is only uh, two blah. That is a mistake. Yeah. Okay, try again. Okay, another course, yeah, Mister. Yeah. This basic listening. Yeah. So is it possible for that you to do all, all the subjects? Oh, uh, so yeah. So I will do one by one, yeah? Yeah, you have to do it one by one. So okay. let me just report. I think uh, the Badas SKS is only 12, so there's a mistake. Hmm, okay. I will try. This is already 16. Is it possible for you to take all the subjects? Yes, it's already 18. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, so please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, have you taken everything? Uh, still miss one. So, can you check what you have to take? Mm, wait, I will check uh, no more, I think. It's already, I have taken all. 
here provided. Oh, so let me see. Let me check with mine. So what is the M count that you have to take? Sorry? What is the M count that you have to take? Sorry? What is the M count that you have to take? Uh, M count Pendidikan Agama, ya? Pendidikan Agama, yes, uh, you're right. Uh, where can I take the Pendidikan Agama? So that is why, let me just uh, try to figure out. Okay. Wait a moment. Okay, wait a moment. I'm going to check on my side because uh, what what you see on your screen is different from what I see in my screen because I will have like all the accumulation of all the subjects. Yeah. Wait a second. I'm still clicking. Dan agama. Okay, now try to refresh. Okay. Uh, ini. Go on, yeah, Mister. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, uh, lanjutkan aja. Coba, and then try to take pilih again. Okay. Just, okay. just click okay. Just click okay. Okay. So. Try to ambil and then agama. Is it there already? Uh, no, I couldn't find pendidikan agama here. Very strange. Let me see. Pendidikan agama kelas A. Okay, is it possible for you to just log out and then you sign in again? Oh, okay. Log out and then you sign in again. You sign again. It should be okay this time. Okay. Uh, still, there is no pendidikan agama. Yeah, let me just go. Let me just make a phone call because if you can wait for a, for a while, you know, and we get these things done, you know, like we are not burdened by it anymore. Uh, oh, Grace. Bu Kris yang saya nggak bisa mengambil ini pendidikan agama nggak bisa masuk bu. Kenapa ya bu ya? Ini saya sudah kapasitasnya 20 bu. Iya bisa dibantu bu. Yang, yang di sini sudah ada satu anak yang ulang Kristina Belinda. 
Mabel. Terus siapa Bu? Bisa dibantu enggak Bu? Oh gitu, bisa Pak? Ya, tolong ya Bu ya. Lokat dulu ya. Ya oke oke. Kalau sudah selesai, selalu saya beritahu ya Bu ya. Oke, terima kasih. Oke, okay, now I know um, where, uh, why, why, what causes this. Because you know like when you enter this one, It will be based on your uh, academic year, yeah. And pendidikan agama, although it is there, uh, it was it was like it it wasn't inputted as your curriculum, although it carries the same name. Yeah. So if you do something like this, you know, I think it, it's it's easy, right? Now, hello. Okay, ma. Yeah. Toka dulu ya, bu ya. Ah, terima kasih. Oke, okay, so it is done already. So please log out. And then you sign it again. You sign it, you sign it again. If you are successful, I would like ah over there. Yes. Thank you. Okay, now your KRS is complete, yeah. So take, the, okay, yeah. So setelah ini selesai, Mohintan ya. Sudah selesai kan? Sudah lock out, ya. Sudah dua puluh. Okay, so you are done, uh, Sandra. So you have taken twenty, yeah. And I would like to share uh, with you what I have on my screen. What I have on my screen is something like this. Yeah. It's different, yeah, because I have like all uh, all of the subjects for everyone. Okay, so for example, this one is comprehension role playing. Five is already here, yeah. So five of you have already programmed this one, so I can monitor, yeah. I can monitor like this, yeah. So you know how this works. So when you enter something, it's real time. I also get it, yeah. So for example, in English the credit course. Five, yeah. So I, I expect like 15 more students. Now, what I would like you to do is to access the sitter and put all the subjects, okay, that I've written and I've presented to you earlier in the list. Do it now, like what Sandra just did. You understand? You understand? Okay, I, I will give you like 10 minutes and I can check uh, over here and I will just uh, share the screen so that you can you can follow me. For the time being, please access uh, the website, Sitar Academy, yeah? Okay, now already six uh, students registering for basic English vocabulary. So I would like, you know, every one of you to do this. Yeah, every one of you. When you enter uh, Ambil and, you know, like the number will change here. Please do so, yeah. Ten more minutes, then, then we finish. Okay, please access academic.wima.ac.id and then program like that. Yeah. Tolong semuanya saja sekarang akses ya. Saya juga bisa lihat sih sebenarnya. Coba ya, saya, saya tunjukkan. Saya bisa lihat siapa yang sudah ngambil misalnya. Ini ya, 6, 5 orang siapa saja. Saya bisa lihat peserta kelasnya loh. Oh, sudah sebelas. Tolong, apa namanya, um, 
kalian update lagi ini masih ada yang belum ngambil. Ada yang pasti ada pertanyaan apa enggak? Halo, apakah ada pertanyaan? Halo Pak. Ya, ini aja lah ya. Saya rasa kok ini bisa dikerjakan um, sendiri ya. Saya, um, saya... Sir, yes. Um, about um, the SKS, which is religion, there is no time listed for it. I mean, there's no schedule for it. It's okay. Yeah, I, I will put later. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, nanti ada jadwalnya. Yeah, saya akan masukkan di situ. Ini kan cepat-cepat nanti langsung diantrikan dulu. Yeah, silakan nanti uh, kalian selesaikan saja. Kalau ada yang oh, coba sudah selesai semua apa enggak? Siapa yang sudah selesai? Ini aja lah ya. Um, saya tutup dulu pertemuan ini. Ya, yeah. terima kasih. Banyak sudah uh, ikut dari tadi gitu ya. Jadi thank you so much ya. Bahwa kalian sudah attentif gitu ya. Nanti saya akan share semuanya ya. Tolong nanti kalau komunikasi masih di lain ya dengan dengan apa namanya kaintan. Tapi kalau dengan saya tolong di WhatsApp aja ya. Karena saya agak bingung dengan lain itu dan juga kalian kebanyakan stiker. Ya, saya nggak bisa baca juga. Oke, okay, thank you so much. Ya, yeah. ini aja. Kalau misalnya ini saya akhiri dulu. Kalau misalnya kalian masih ada kesulitan, silakan. Saya tunggu di zoomnya. Ya. Yeah. Um, sir, a question. Yes. Um, so regarding the religion education, so are we forced to study about Catholicism or is it depending on our personal faith? No, it is agama. It is not a uh, agama Catholic. It is pendidikan agama. So you will be invited to get to know like all the language, all the religions, and all the belief that we have here. Oh. In it. Yeah. And there is also right, a field trip later, and you can you can visit you know all of the rumah rumah ibadah, yeah. So it is not about uh, Catholic religion, okay? It is bukan agama, bukan pendidikan agama Catholic, yeah. And sebenarnya kalau kita lihat ya, Widya Mandala ini dari segi agama kita sangat beragam, Stephen. Bahkan Mahasiswa yang agamanya Katolik itu malah nggak banyak sebenarnya, malah nggak banyak. Mungkin salah satu hal yang mendasar itu kan kalau keluarga Katolik itu TK, SD, SMP, SMA udah Katolik, kemudian ingin ke negeri atau ingin yang ke Kristen atau apa gitu ya. Jadi sebenarnya jumlah kita itu sangat-sangat betul-betul Indonesia sih. Ya. Jadi sekali lagi pendidikan agama itu bukan pendidikan agama Katolik, tapi pendidikan agama, ya, jadi beda. Jadi kita tumbuhkan semangat toleransi, saling pengertian seperti itu di pendidikan agama. Silakan kalau sudah selesai silakan leave, ya, silakan leave. Jadi kalau saya bisa tahu kalau kalian sudah selesai KRS kalian leave, oke? Okay? Kalau masih nggak ngerti silakan, ya, yeah, because uh, this room is still on. Ya, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Hmm.